is Anna J and welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we are going to review the Realme 8i. <laughs> which is si Sean. And sabi ko sa kanya, I really appreciate itong phone niya. Kasi nung nasira yung iPhone 6 Plus ko, gusto ko bumili ng Realme 8 Pro. Pero hindi ako bumili ng Realme 8 Pro kasi pinagbigay nga ng iPhone 7. And habang tumatagal, like lately, nakita ko na parang mas maganda pala yung Realme 9 Pro. And nung bumili naman siya ng Realme 8 i gulat ako kasi for its price point, nandun pa rin yung um, pagkaganda ng specs niya. And Sabe is good for gamers and photographers. So this time, let's find out talaga. We all know that this is the budget device, the cheapest smartphone under the Realme 8 series. Pero, yung kanyang klase ng phone is very attractive, very appealing. Okay, so isa-isahin natin. So for the freebie, ito kasi yung box niya, itong Realme, ayan. Um, one month na ito ginagamit ng kapatid ko. Of course, before kong i-review, sabi ko, before ko siyang i-review, gusto ko sana na na-testing na talaga ng kapatid ko para may talagang um, witness tayo kung talaga kung gano'n siya kaganda. Okay, so, for the freebie, meron siyang USB lamp. Ito yung umiilaw, ayan. And then, meron siyang um, jelly case. Meron din tayong earphones dito. And ayan, paperwork sa yung mga instructions about it. And then, meron siyang USB charger in Type-C. Um, for the color naman, available siya in Space Black. This is the Space Black and this is Space Purple. So, actually, mas gusto ko yung Space Purple, of course. Pero, alam mo, ang ganda rin itong black. Like, iba siya. May siya nagre-reflect lang kasi, um, itong glass namin dito sa window, nagre-reflect siya. Ayan. But, it's so nice talaga, oh. Ayan. Ayan. For the full phone and specification, meron speaker grill. Here sa taas, volume in the left, fingerprint on the right, and power button on the right side then. And then meron headphone jack dito sa uh, ilalim, USB charger dito, nandito na rin sa ilalim, dalawang loudspeaker. So when talking about the cheapest and or the affordable smartphone, uh, meron siya two, two configurations, 4GB RAM which is the 64 and that is 9,990. And ito naman is yung 6GB RAM, 128GB, 11,990. So for the battery, and considering its price point, meron siyang 5,000mAh. For the charging mode is 2 hours and 30 minutes. Meron siyang 18 watts fast charging. And for the refresh rate naman, make sure na alam natin yung gagamitin natin. Pero for me, I suggest mag-auto-select na lang kayo para wala siyang effect sa battery if ever. Ito yung camera, makikita nyo. Ayan. So, meron siyang 50 megapixels sa primary camera, which is the wide one. Meron siyang 2 megapixels macro shooter. Meron siyang 2 megapixel depth in monochrome sensor. Front cam na 16 megapixels. Now, let's proceed naman to the performance. For the performance is MediaTek Helio G96 12 nanometer. Do you know that Helio is under a 64 GB multi-core? that launched around 2015. Let's talk naman about if it is really worth it. For me, yes, it is really worth it kasi pang malakasan. It's very powerful. Um, It's not very pala. It's powerful considering its price point. For gamers, of course, this is good Um, according sa aking brother. But the last reason na worth it siya, it is because the high refresh rate with HD full display and um, wide vine 1L DRM. So, sabi ko, why not talaga? It is very worth it and it will always be worth it. Especially now, if talaga naghahanap kayo ng um, affordable. Okay, so I'm gonna show you naman yung mga review kapag like dun sa speaker niya. Pakinggan natin kung ari YouTube. Pakinig tayo. Welcome back to Speedrunners vs. Hunters. 
break a trophy with a diamond pickaxe. Am I gonna be able to do it while I'm being hot dead? So yun yung sa speaker niya, pero may, may gagawa ka ng montage about this. For the camera mode, ayan, babasahin ko sa inyo, meron siyang dual view video, slow-mo, time-lapse, movie, expert pro, pano, text scanner, and ultra macro. So, ito yung um, video I'm um, gonna show you. Uh. So, kung ngayari, ito yung front and back. Front and back kasi yung nakikita dito. So, ayan. Ayan. So, I'm filming now and papakita ko to sa inyo. Ayan. And then, rotate natin. Ayan. Hindi ko lang kung saan ako titingin. Pero, oh, I'm gonna show you. Ayan. So, I'm filming now and papakita ko to sa inyo. Ayan. And then, rotate natin. Ayan. Diba, it's nice kasi especially when you do vlogging, if gusto mo na front and back yung makikita, dual siya, diba? Ayan. Ito yung, para sa akin, ito yung pinakapanalo ng real me talaga. So, tingnan natin sa camera. Ako kasi, I hate um, filters, beauty, yung may mga beautification, something like that, especially in TikTok. Hindi ko inaano yung mga ganun. Okay lang mag-filter, pero hindi, hindi yung super ano na, halata mo na, ganun. So, for the photo, is ito yung front. Magpipicture tayo. Wait lang, may beautification to. Kasi hindi ko ito mukha. Ayan, ito yung mga, ano nyo, beautification na dapat natin tanggalin. Skin texture. Okay. Wala na. Ayan. So, ito siya sa camera. Wait lang. Ayan, ayan. Medyo inverted yung... <laughs> like, hindi medyo. Hindi medyo, talagang inverted. Okay, and try naman natin sa back. Ayan. Ah, actually, mas maganda yung back. You see? Mas okay yung back camera. Kasi, I swear. Ayan. And nakikita talaga yung pores mo. Well, I'm fresh ko naman dyan. I'm fresh naman sa Android. Gusto ko naman. And then, let's try naman sa video. Yung pagiging stable niya, if ever. Try natin yung video. Kasi medyo pasmado yung kamay ko. Feeling ko talaga. Ayan, panoorin na natin. Ay, in fairness. In fairness sa kanya. In fairness, ha. Ewan ko, kasi ang pang nag-video ko sa iPhone, para nakikita mo yung like, nag-shake siya ng konti. But here, hindi. I swear. I like it. I like it talaga. Ayan. Again, guys, I just wanna say thank you again so much for watching this video again. This is the second time na nag-review na tayo ng, ng technology ganyan. Um, actually, dun sa laptop, ang dami pa rin nagtatanong. Pero, sana ma magkaroon ako ng time talaga na i-video sa inyo yung mga kailangan yung malaman. Pero, if ever naman, i-PM nyo na lang ako or DM. Then, papakita ko sa, sa inyo. Ganun. So, again, guys, this is the Realme 8i. And, kung makikita ninyo sa grip, sobrang solid feel, well-balanced, may curve at the back, and sobrang comfortable hawakan. And sobrang ganda. Look how nice! And also, kung makikita nyo, smooth naman siya. Mapa left to the right, up and down. Sobrang okay. Wala ako naging problema. And brightness wise. And nakikita ninyo na nag edit ako sa CapCut. Kasi tinitingnan ko if maglalag siya. Kapag marami ng overlay. Uh, meron ng audio. Meron ng transitions. So, ganto naman kapag nag screenshot. And, of course, meron din siyang mga convenient na mga shortcuts. And, sobrang amaze ako sa position ng mga buttons ng Realme 8i. And, you can also do your assignment or any under office requirements in your Realme 8i. And, especially if may papasa ka sa Google Classroom, napaka-convenient kasi nasa phone na lang din. Okay guys, so this time is papakita ko lang sa inyo. Kung anong klase kapag naglalaro ng ML. So, ayan. Full HD screen siya. Computer yung kalaro ko dito. Kasi, ayaw yung kapatid ko na maglaro siya. So, papakita ko na lang sa inyo. Ayan. Ayaw niya kasing maglaro eh. 
So, sabi ko, dadunodan ko ng COD, pero ayaw din. So, ayan. Ayan, gusto ko lang sa inyo ipakita. Kasi ako marunong ng ML talaga ever since di ako naglaro ng ML. Ano yan? 